Welcome back to Artworks Garage. That's a little shaky. Stop shake a shaking. Welcome back to Artworks Garage, my friends. Today I wanted to give you a brief overview of the initial startup procedure and break in procedure of your brand new engine or fully rebuilt engine. Uh, in my case, in particular is the S62 power plant for the BMW E39 M5. Now as you can see, brief update, my E39 M5 is not here. It is in the shop, I, it has a vacuum leak, it will not idle, and quite honestly I just got sick of working on it and so I sent it off to the shop I was able to drive it to the shop, albeit very difficult because it won't idle, so uh, it, it runs fine as long as you don't have to stop. It seems there it was a significant vacuum leak and I'm getting that resolved and hopefully I'll get that back this week and be able to share that and my excitement for that uh, with you later this week. Step one, put oil in your engine and not just any oil. I use Joe Gibbs break-in oil. Break-in oil or mineral oil is what you need to use. In the S62 five liter engine, it uses six and a half liters. So that's a lot of oil per change. Step two, prime the engine. You can do this by a multitude of things. You can disconnect the fuel pump. You can disconnect the spark plugs, for example. I chose to disconnect my spark plug coils. Now, start the engine for rotation and fuel delivery. Hold the key, cycling the engine and the fuel pump for about 20 seconds, then stop and rest for about 10 seconds. Do this cycle of holding the key and cycling the engine for about 20 seconds and resting 10 seconds three times. Step three, clear any and all fault codes. You're going to want to hook up an OBD2 device to your OBD2 port and make sure that you don't have any existing check engine lights or fault codes. When I did this, I had multiple fault codes and had to resolve those codes prior to moving on. I fixed the faults, primed the engine again, ensured myself that the fault codes were gone, and moved on. I use an OBD Link app that I downloaded from the internet and purchased the dongle that goes along with it. Step four, and this is what we've all been waiting for, start the engine. But wait, once again, make sure you have no check engine lights and no fault codes. If you do, resolve them first. Do the reverse that you did in step two. In my case, plug the quill packs back in and then start the engine. Fuck yeah! Run the engine for 15 minutes, varying your RPM between roughly idle and 5,000 RPM. After 15 minutes, stop the engine and change the oil. Step five. Change the oil once again using mineral oil, break-in oil. Then drive the car normally for 100 to 200 miles approximately. And then do yourself another oil change, the third oil change, but this time with synthetic oil. At this point, you can drive the car like you stole it. Step 6. 